Hello and welcome to this quick video about this update regarding the Healing system. Now, Ben and I up at 3DXR did a video quite a while ago now talking about the basics of how you set up Healing. Healing is a little control, it isn't something that we use a lot in the hobby. It's quite an expensive piece of kit, so professionals and prosumers kind of use it. But it is a really cool piece of kit because it allows you to basically have Mission Planner or Q Ground Control in your hand. You can also stream video from it live as well. Now, at the end of that video, uh, ben very quickly summarized the last couple of steps to get the video from the here link onto Mission Planner. However, I've had a couple of people get in touch to say that that's really one of the steps that they're struggling with. So as I was up with Ben again, up at 3DXR, links down below to his shop, he was very kind to kind of pull everything out and to go through those last few key steps to show how to set it up. Okay, so today we're going to show you how to get video from this here link onto a PC or laptop. Um, so what we've got here is we've got our Healink already streaming video. So this has got a HDMI camera plugged into uh, the Healink's first HDMI port. We're receiving this on the um, Healink. It is the, the plane is on. It is all connected and working. Um, so there's a few different ways to connect and get this video feed into Mission Planner. So let's have a look at the way of doing it over Wi-Fi. So what we need to do is we need to make the Healink into a uh, hotspot so let's have a little look and um, we are sort of indoors and a partially set up drone so we're getting several warnings popping up here but let's have a look at this process the healing is essentially an android tablet so we're going to go and turn on the hotspot from within the android menu if you like so we have a, a wi-fi settings and um, let's go into more options and then we'll see tethering and portal hotspot so I created a hotspot, which is called it Hewing T2, that's the plane we're connected to. Give it a password and turn on the hotspot. So one thing to note is because the Healink itself is communicating on 2.4G, um, a hotspot can't obviously be the same frequency. So the hotspots are on 5.8. So whatever you connect to this remote must be able to connect to 5.8. Um, you know, that has been around 10 years or so, so most devices are capable of doing that. Once we've got the hotspot set up, we can then move on to the computer and um, connect to it. And then let's look at connecting Mission Planet to this video feed and also the common sort of issues some people might face. So we'll jump over to the PC. Um, now, what we can do is um, we've got Mission Planet here, but there's a little trick when you're connecting to the uh, here link is if you actually connect to it first, then launch Mission Planner, it will auto connect. So let's have a look, we can see our Wi Fi hotspot, Hewing T2. Um, I did give it a password, so we'll, oops. we're going to connect to it, allow it to be discoverable. Now, this normally takes um, a little bit of time on this connection window, so as soon as I see this, I will just launch Mission Planner. And the reason for that is there's no internet on this network, so it's just going to take a little bit longer to connect, and it will give a warning saying no internet. So let's launch Mission Planner after we've started that Wi-Fi connection, and it should detect that there's a healing on the network. So let's have a look. It's already started to connect by itself. So it's connecting over UDP, it's pulling the parameters, even doing MAV FTP. And we are now um, connected um, to the drone. We are going to see, yep, we're getting live readings. If we move the drone, there we go. Let's change the flight mode. So all those things are sort of happening on here. Again, we're inside, we're not set up, so we will get various messages. Um, okay, so the process for seeing the video, um, we'll right click. And we have um, a couple of ways to do this. We've got the video and here link. But um, with here link, you actually have the potential to connect to multiple HMI streams. So we are connecting to um, the first stream. So we'll have a look here. Connect stream 1 v2. Let's just click that. Um, this IP address should auto-populate, but it is the IP address of this controller. So this here is the same for everybody's remote if you are connecting to it. So if your computer is connecting to it hot, its hotspot, it'll be 192.168.43.1. And that was automatically populated. If you have changed away from that, you'll need to update this. Now, this is where some people face issues, depending on if they've ever previously connected 
um, Mission Planner to a video. Um, and the issue we see is that it needs to download GStreamer. And if you are connected from your laptop to the Healink, you may um, not have an internet connection, therefore it won't download GStreamer. In this case, we can see the video, it is working, but let's have a look at what would happen if you were unable um, to see the video feed. So there's two ways you can go about it. You can disconnect from your Healink, so from your Wi-Fi, and reconnect to whatever your source of the internet is, and then simply right click here link and start a video stream and that will then come up with a, a progress bar saying downloading GStreamer and it takes a couple of minutes. Um, we did try this on another computer and we've also seen sometimes the connection to that download isn't always working. So let's have a look at another method of getting GStreamer. Added a simple search here for um, download GStreamer mission planner. Um, we also what we have here is the download is actually hosted on Pilot, and we've got a directory here with a few different versions. Um, I use the most recent one, the top one. We we'll simply download the GStreamer. You'll see we get a message because we're connected. We haven't connected to Wi Fi. We'll download the zip file, um, we'll extract it, and we'll install GStreamer. And you must restart Mission Planner. So that's also another thing that catches people out. Once you have installed GStreamer, is you must restart Mission Planner and then connect, and it will connect um, straight away, like you've seen in this video. Um, so we have our HUD here with the video. We can swap it around and have it on a bigger screen. We can also pop it out if you're using multiple screens. Um, it's always displayed on what we call the HUD, the heads-up display, so you're seeing all the angles and all the information on here. And you can also record this, this HUD. So look, record HUD to AVI. So if I click on here, and it's telling us it's going to be saved in the log folder. So this is now recording um, this display here. And when we finish, it'll stop recording. I'll come manually stop, and we will find the AVI recording of the video in the Mission Planner Logs folder. Bear in mind, um, it is scaled to this window, so it, it isn't the highest of resolution, but it's a very nice video feed because it also has all the information, your heights, your speeds, your GPS status. So it's a very good way to sort of monitor each flight. Thank you for watching my video. Check out the playlist and adding Painless 360 to your search terms will help you find my content. If you haven't done so already, please hit the like and subscribe button. It helps a lot. You can support the time I spend here answering questions and helping others by using the links in the video description.